We got a special guest later tonight too. I'm really excited about it. Uh, while we're at it, um, take advantage of the drink specials here. We got 775 pictures of the Kareem Ale. It's very delicious. It's what I like to drink and shit. And uh, we also got 350 shooter specials. Ask Austin, your bartender, for the details as to which ones those are. And while we're at it, why don't we give Austin, your bartender, a round of applause, huh? <laughs> the only one working back there, the Austin dude. Please uh, tip him or whatever. Let well, I me mean, tip him, but like give him money. Like don't like tell him like, hey, like, you know, make sure your taxes are in order and shit. Don't do that. That's a terrible tip. Don't ever do that. And I'm never gonna say that again. But anyway, with that being said, are you ready to meet your host and MC for the evening? Yes. This girl's one of my favorites. I love her. She's a re recent winner of the Richmond Comics Clash of the Rich <laughs> Richmond Funny Bone Clash of the Comics. Ladies and gentlemen, the very funny Rukmani Ramachandran. So, what did I win? Stop. <laughs> so, uh, hi, and everything. Hi! Hey! Wow, that, you yeah. guys are a great crowd. <laughs> this man is one of my favorites. Please welcome to the stage, Bounce Adams! I don't like being called the R word. Yeah, responsible. <laughs> yeah, I like to be focused on my priorities. Go to work, pay the bills, and take that prostitute back to the nursing home. <laughs> <laughs> I like to be honest about my limitations. Like, um, I have fine motor dexterity issues, but it's cool. I can still do the basics. Shuffle cards, tie my shoelaces, give a magnificent hand job. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can't shuffle the fucking cards. <laughs> I had to take growth hormone a few years back, and because when I was in fourth grade, I was the same height as the first graders. Yeah, my parents told the doctor, something is not right here. And we are also concerned about his height. <laughs> Take a look at the cheat sheet. I love movies that have really good fight scenes, like blood sport kickboxer, and what's love got to do with it? <laughs> oh man, mm. I think that there should be a game show that features porn stars. I even came up with a few possible titles. Orgasm with the stars. <laughs> So you think you can swallow. <laughs> and whose STD is it anyway? <laughs> On that note, I used to work with kids. <laughs> like, uh, some of my coworkers would tell me that they are like give me some insight into their philosophical, you know, thoughts. Like, some parents use television as a babysitter. Okay, that's not exactly a bad thing. The television never ate all my Twinkies. <laughs> the television never told me to go to bed because she wanted vodka. <laughs> and the television never bought marijuana into the house and refused to share. <laughs> Just trying to help some new stuff tonight. Hope y'all like it. Uh, I was having a conversation with a woman recently, and she told me that her virginity was going to be a gift. You cannot put your virginity in the same category as flowers in an iTunes gift card. <laughs> 
I mean, it kind of got me to thinking about my ex-girlfriend who told me her body was a temple. I was like, yeah, so when I go inside, there is fire, brimstone, and guilt. <laughs> waiting for you to ring that damn bell. <laughs> that was a fucking joke to do it on too. Because <laughs> it's based on a true story. <laughs> oh man, on that note, I'm back on the dating scene. <laughs> Ladies, you do not have to worry about me talking to other women. You should be more concerned about me talking to myself. <laughs> I am the Christopher Columbus of love making. I did not discover the G spot, I just landed on that shit by accident. <laughs> and one time I was having sex with a woman and I made the bad mistake of comparing myself to a vibrator. <laughs> I actually can vibrate, but I don't require batteries. <laughs> That's my time, y'all. I'm out of sound. Alex Adams, ladies and gentlemen. Your next comedian is, well, no longer a newcomer to the scene. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Josh Harsford. What's going on, McCormick's? Hey. How's everybody doing out there? Good. Good? Because it doesn't sound like it. Does it make some noise? <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Woo! I don't like to hear. Um, so I was uh, talking to this girl, right? And I was like, yeah, I'm not really looking for anything serious. So I'm fucking this clown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Any basketball fans out there? Woo! Basketball fans? Who you guys got in the finals? Heat. Heat? I'm a Heat guy too. I'm a Heat guy too. Uh, I'm a basketball fan. I think with this, with this shortened season, they really could have used my help. Not necessarily for like my athletic prowess or anything, but my trash talker. I'm a great trash talker, you know? Like, my, my trash talk would be a little bit different. My trash talk would be like, hey, 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 Kobe. Hey, when will you rape that girl? Because <laughs> I do. <laughs> I mean, what's he going to say? No? Of course he remembers. <laughs> like, hey, man. He's just going to be like, hey, man, get out of my face. I'll be like, hey, man, that's what you should have said to that girl. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> poor Kobe Bryant. Um, uh, fucking, uh, you guys movie fans? Home Alone. Home Alone, that's my favorite, that's one of my favorite movies. Home Alone's a great movie. I mean, as far as child neglect goes. <laughs> uh, my only thing about Home Alone is, one time, it's like a hilarious movie. But two times, it's like, oh, your parents might have a drinking problem. <laughs> Probably get that checked out. Um, <laughs> hey, when I, when I would people come to me and I was like, uh, oh man, Josh, how could you cancel on us, man? Those plans are written in stone. I'm just like, you know what else is written in stone? The Ten Commandments. <laughs> Break them all the time. Oh <laughs> um, uh, man. You guys, you guys seen the movie Toy Story before? Yeah. Toy Story. It's one of my favorite movies, man. One of my favorite movies. Uh, but I was thinking, like, if the toys in Toy Story didn't want to be given up, you know what they should have done? Fucking gotten up and started talking. <laughs> <laughs> the fuckers gonna throw away some talking toys. <laughs> They've clearly done some amazing things. Instead of, they're like, oh my god, how do we get Andy to love us? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't play dead the next time he comes into the room. <laughs> Like, uh, next time, before Andy goes off to college, she just be like, hey Andy, let me tell you something, man. Before you go off to college, just wanted to let you know that we're haunted. If you try to throw us away, we'll kill you. <laughs> 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 At least I 
Please take your time. <laughs> um, man, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not a morning person, like at all. I'm not a morning person at all. Um, like if I don't have coffee in the morning, I turn it into a complete zombie. Man, if I don't get coffee in the morning, I'll just stroll into the office and start biting a nigga's neck. <laughs> That shit just tastes mad good to me, man. I just won't even know in the style. I'm just like, oh hey, oh hey Josh, how you doing? Raw, shut up. <laughs> so tired. <laughs> Had some Folgers, this would be so much better. Um, <laughs> uh, man, try out some new, this new joke I'm working on. It's like, uh, you guys remember Falcon Leghorn? Yeah. yeah. Falcon Leghorn. I'm pretty sure when Falcon Leghorn got by himself, he said nigga. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm, I'm pretty sure Paul Don Lincoln was a racist chicken, man. <laughs> I say, I say, niggas are lazy. <laughs> I can picture Paul Don Lincoln saying that shit, man. Like, uh, uh, man. I was at the pool with a friend of mine the other day, right? And she's a, this light is so bright. She's a girl. She's a girl. That's a, it's not important to the story. But she sassed me. And I was like, man. Remember the good old days when if a woman could swim, she was a witch? <laughs> Man, I miss those days. <laughs> like, what'd you say to me? Put you in that pool? You know, burn you alive? <laughs> Without any question. Because only witches can swim. <laughs> um, Go to the old cheat sheet myself here. Actually, no, you know what? I'm gonna get out of here because <laughs> I'm getting that light. Um, but you guys have been great. McCormick's is always fun. Support local Richmond comedy, man. And have a great night. Josh Harshford, everybody. I can't swim. Thank you. Please welcome your next comedian. She's a member of Full State Comedy, a very funny lady, and a good friend of mine, Adrian Bowman. Hey guys. Is someone screaming? There's the president of my fan club. Who was screaming? Was that Chris Martin? No. <laughs> oh, cool, the camera. Oh my gosh, on that note, I have to tell this. I saw my parents this weekend, my cousin's graduation, and my parents and my family broke the news to me that my parents Googled me and found one of my shows. I thought for sure, I was like, okay, I do comedy, and they know it, and they're never gonna come see a show because they never go out. I didn't think about the internet. <laughs> so they told me they saw it and the first thing my mom said was I'm gonna buy you batteries for your birthday <laughs> I was like mom you bought me batteries for Christmas when I was 11 that's not different I put that part in my act too <sighs> so anyway I'm excited we have warm weather I love the summer I did have to start shaving again though. I hate shaving. But it's all right, I shave the necessary areas, like my back. <laughs> the ladies know what I'm talking about. We gotta be all trim and cut everywhere. I just use work, workout terms for that. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> but what I don't understand in this area is why women shave different characters or shapes into their twat? I just wanted to say twat. I didn't care how, but... <laughs> I don't get it. The one that gets me the most is the landing strip. And that's the most popular, I guess. I don't know. I haven't done a woman in a while, so... I don't know. Um, for me, I just say go all or nothing. Bald Eagle or Sasquatch Crotch? Which one are you? <laughs> Alright. Here's some new jokes. Since everyone else is trying them out, let's see how these go. Alright. 
We as Virginians don't like West Virginia, that's known. But West Virginia doesn't like Kentucky, Kentucky doesn't like Indiana, Indiana doesn't like Ohio, Ohio doesn't like Indiana or Pennsylvania, and Pennsylvania doesn't like New York or Ohio. Why don't we just all band together and just hate Mexico? <laughs> That would save us time and an effort to hate, but of course I wouldn't really hate Mexico, only because I love their food. That's why. Has anyone ever seen a cockroach outside of their home or outside of a building? You never see them outside. Why? Because they are unearthly creatures that time travel. They just, <laughs> I hate it. When I moved into my apartment, I did not know what a cockroach looked like. I saw one on top of my refrigerator and I didn't know what it was. It was like bright orange. I grabbed my baseball bat and slammed it into it and it went crunch and ran away. <laughs> so I had to research these things and I figured out they can live up to a month without their heads. <laughs> That's so gross. That's not a joke. I just cared to share that fact with you in case you try to behead them. <laughs> Don't do it. Anybody watch reality TV? Woo! <laughs> that guy does. I watch the Kardashians. Why? Because they have my life. They have my life. They only became famous because of Ray J. We all know this. But I fucked Ray J last week, and I don't have a reality show. <laughs> yet. I'm still working on a deal with E. Anyway, thank you guys. You've been great. I'm getting the light. I have other things, but um, I like how it ended. So... <laughs> And then with Ray J, and that's how Kim Kardashian's career ended. So thank you guys. Adrian Bowman, everybody. Wait, you can do a better job than that. Coming to the stage next, a man I've known a long time but still doesn't get my name right who runs the 955 Comedy Club at Bottoms Up Pizza, Mr. Ray Bullock! Give it up for Ruka Sean, whatever her name is. Uh, awesome, awesome. Also, give it up for Austin getting us drunk tonight, making things happen. Silver's filming. Don't film me because I'm still wanted in some states. That'd be awesome. Cool deal. Awesome.